Welcome to Off the Page, Sacred Jazz. I'm Deanna Witkowski. Today I'm coming to you from Church of the Redeemer in the Squirrel Hill neighborhood in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh is where I've been living since last August, and I'm really grateful to be here today at the invitation of Anne Labonski, and thanks to Anne and to Rana for letting me come in here to practice today. I moved to Pittsburgh last August, and I'm still without a piano at home. So if you find these videos useful to you, if the sheet music is useful and these how-tos are useful, please consider donating to my piano fund. No amount is too small, and all donations are going towards having me get a concert-level piano in my home so that I can continue to create new music for you. Today we're going to be looking at Psalm 88, which is really a psalm of lament, a psalm of crying out in the presence of God. And it doesn't offer any neat solutions. It doesn't end with a lot of hope, um, but it's just asking for God to incline God's ear to the cry of the person uh, singing out. Um, so this is the setting of the first two verses in the ninth verse of Psalm 88. And I originally wrote this way back in like 98 or uh, 99 when I was music director at All Angels Episcopal Church in New York City. We used it during Lent uh, every week at the close of the service one year during Lent. We had uh, a period where a small group of singers would sing something quiet meditative and congregants would either sit and listen or or listen as they left the sanctuary in silence and this is what we did one of those weeks so this can be sung in unison it also breaks out into two parts just on a tiny little section that's in thirds uh, but it can be either way with a soloist and then people coming in on the thirds or a single line throughout. So I'm going to sing and play this once through, improvise once through, and sing it one more time through. So here is Let My Prayer, Psalm 88. Thank you. 
So this setting of Psalm 88, you can find the link below to the lead sheet and eventually soon I will also uh, create a piano score uh, for this piece. I also want to make sure that all of you know that I have a new book that's coming out on August 15th. It's a biography of the pioneering jazz pianist, composer, and liturgical jazz uh, musician, Mary Lou Williams. That's being published by Liturgical Press coming out in August. And if you'd like to pre-order that book, I'm including the link below in the video description as well. You can go to that link and read some endorsements on the book and find out a little bit more about who Mary Lou Williams was and why it's important to know her story. So please check that out and give the video a like, subscribe to my channel. And again, please consider donating to my piano fund. But for today, I'm so grateful to be here at Church of the Redeemer, playing on this beautiful instrument for all of you in this beautiful space. So enjoy, and we'll be back next week with another psalm. Next week, I'm going to look at Psalm 27, the Lord is my light and my salvation. See you then.